you know, you always want to show things that are not seen, things that are in the dark. Most of the images that had an impact in my career, that were important in my career, most of the images I really like, most of the images I'm attached to, were taken in the early morning hours or um, in the afternoon, in the late or early night. That's where I like to work. When you see this place, it is crumbling. There's like abandoned lorries lying around, mangled up steel pipes and, and beams. Yet still there's like people working there underground. They expected it to be to be more mechanized, to be more automated, but it's really just like hard labor. And it's people working with pickaxes and like jackhammers and carrying around these like big steel pillars that are filled with water um, that weigh more than like 100 kilos. Uh, so it's really, really, really tough work. So I was hoping to, to show just that, like how, um, how labor intensive it is and how hard it is to, to work down there. You had like black slush that was raining down on you. That's like the kind of conditions I sometimes work under and that's where I want my camera to work. The setup of my camera was very simple. I had a USR, I had um, battery grip on it and I used a 50 mil 1.2 lens. Honestly, the, the most difficult circumstances I've ever photographed under. Um, because of the, the gases that are in those mines, you can't have uh, electricity in there. So there's no light except the headlamps, and they're like specially sealed. So you have either it's like entirely black or you have like really bright light. I really like pushed the camera to its limits in terms of low light capabilities, but also in terms of like dynamic range and uh, focus, of course. It's so dark that like my eyes can't really see anymore which part of my image is exactly in focus. So I have to rely on, on the autofocus. You can use the screen as a, as a touch screen to move around the focus point. So I use that quite often, especially since the resolution of the camera and the lens is so high and I was shooting with a wide open aperture, so you really have to get things like spot into focus. People always say, oh, it's not about the camera, it's about the photographer, but it's something that has to work together and uh, both elements have to come together and you know form the image at the end. There's no technological limitations anymore that I feel uh, need to be broken to, to show what I want to show in terms of content. You always strive to take a photo that has an impact, that moves people, that makes people want to help and, and want to get engaged. I don't think my photos will have an impact in, in terms of these minds being closed or bettering the work conditions of these people, but um, it's still something people should be aware of. When the miners get out after a shift of work, they have like coal under their eyes, they have like coal in, in all the pores. They're almost like a direct representation of what they do is, is in their faces. Apart from the physical difficulties, the, the extremely manual labor these men work on, uh, it's also incredibly dangerous. Most of the work I do is like, you know, you suddenly get a perspective of of the privileges you have.